Hello guys, this is Jonathan Sturman and today guys I will show you guys how to use Nano. Um, first of all, Nano is basically a text editor but for the terminal, which is pretty cool. So to install it what we need to do is do sudo apt and sudo apt install nano and that should install nano. Yeah, and I know it's already installed, but I may have to press onto my Y button. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go to my directory, um, which will be in documents. Um, we need to go there, and then we have to do ls, and then this is where we can save our file. Okay, guys, so now we're half here, right? So what I have to do is nano, uh, give yourself a um, file name, such as Ryan or something like that. I want to give this one um, Harry Potter. Harry Potter 2003 and then dot txt and that should do that and now we're to this part aren't you? so we create our own file within the terminal and these are the commands that we can do now to exit we have to do control x so this up our um, it means control so yeah ma means mark text and 6 means copy text I see okay so if I want to put down Andy we've been sucks at life <laughs> Terry Davis is awesome but John Athan Stedman is way better yay Microsoft. Microsoft. I don't care if I wrote their name wrong. They deserve it. Microsoft. Fuck you. Fuck. You. Fuck you. Okay, so this is their message to them. So yeah, now basically what I've done is that we made a text document, right? And to save it, all you need to do is press onto Control X. Now to press onto for Y, and then we have to do that. And if we want to reopen it, just do nano. Um, dot in capitals though, do nano, and we'll have to do Harry Potter 2003. Okay, we've forgotten N. Just add an N to that. To dot txt, and then we can reopen it, and we can change it if we wanted to, such as if we want to delete something, then I think we can do that. No, I can't. Well, we can just press on the delete key. I uh, should delete it all. Okay, so that is how to make a basic text editor, the but there's other tools that we could do, such as to redo, just do M and then an E. I don't know how to do that, actually. Hmm, would it be... Control E, Control M. Ah, it goes down. Okay. Go to spell. So, ah, error involving spell. <laughs> okay, um, so we can do MW next, but we can do that to replace something. Um, search to replace a frog. Um, um, but replace with um, I. Um, replace assistant, yes. See, so yeah, and then we guys can do that. We could change instances. You know, if you want to go to a line, then all you do is basically uh, do control, and then have to do that. And that should just shrink it and make it bigger and whatever I want to do with it. Uh, we can make it very, very small, or we can make it very, very big. Uh, that's actually pretty awesome. But yeah, we could basically do whatever we want in there. Um, we could do four plus zero. We could just do like that. And then I have to go to Control X, and now that will save a file. And then I can um, change the name of it if I wanted to. So, like that. Um, save file under a different name. Yes. And we can change the name, such as here. See, we have changed the name. So, yeah, guys, this was like a simple tutorial on how to use Nano and how awesome it is. I personally used that on, it, on um, Arch Linux while I was installing it. 
and I think it's a very very good um, text editor. I use it all the time, even for college. Um, we can even do some HTML code in there, but I don't really recommend it. But if you want to do that, then we can. We can just do HTML. That's actually a pretty nice interface. File to insert, yes. I don't know what that means, but here we can do HTML code and then HTML. We can put in for our head um, because the head is where all the non the, the things that we don't see on the website basically is where all the styles will be. But what I normally do is create a CCSS file because it's easy and it's a lot less messy that way. Um, so we can do body, and now in here, what you can do is you can do h1, and then we can do uh, h1, and then we can put in here hello world. The control s. No, we can't do control x. So I have to do control x, and that should exit for that. Okay, now if we do ls. Then we should see h.html. And now to open it, so just go to the. We're going to open it through here. Just to show you guys that has been successfully been done. Uh, as you guys can see, if I click over here, then what should happen is that you guys should see a web page saying hello world. So basically, that is how to use nano. Uh, we can go to Harry Potter text document if we wanted to. And yeah. <laughs> But anyway, guys, um, yeah, just the latest version of it. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Or next time we don't have.